So this is what we're aiming for today, how to make a feather. Okay, so first off we can select the cube and the light and just press X to delete them. Then we press Shift A and we can go to Mesh and go to Cylinder and open up this menu and just change this to 6 because we want the cylinder to have 6 sides. Now we can scale this down a bit like that uh, and then we press Tab to enter Edit Mode. We select these 6 vertices at the top and press G and set to drag them up like this. So this will be the height of our feather. Then I want to add some loop cuts so let's press Ctrl R and uh, use the scroll wheel to add more. Something like this. Maybe 17 will be great. Then we can press this button, proportional editing. And then we can select the top. And then we press S to scale. And we need to scroll again. So we can use the proportional editing. You can see the circle gets bigger and smaller. So we can just scale this down. Like so. And then finally we can just press M to merge these vertices at the center. So we'll get one point like that. Great. So mm, this will be our uh, stem of the feather or what it's called. Then we can select this point. We can leave some points below it and we can press control and left click this point and then rotate and then hold down control and left click this point. And we want to add them to a group, all the selected points. So you just go down here to data and add a vertex group and then assign. So if we now click outside and then select, we can see that these are the points that are selected. Great. So we can leave edit mode and then go to particles. Let's add a particle system and set it to hair. And we can see it's all over the place. And we don't want that so let's activate that group that we made so let's go down to vertex group and here in at density let's choose the group we made before and as you can see only the faces near the vertices are affected in some tutorials you will see they will go into source and only emit from vertices and you can see them here and it only follows the lines and that's one way to do it, but I don't like that one. So let's just stick to faces for now. And before we start trimming and shaping this feather, we need to decide how many hairs it will be made up of. And this probably will be decided what you're aiming to use your feather for. But for me, I just want to have a nice feather. So I can go with a really high number here. I will use 1000, but I will add some more segments, 10. And I think the length of the feather is a bit big, so let's set down to 3. And right now I realize that we have not applied the scale, so let's press Ctrl A and apply rotation and scale. And now we can start shaping the feather. So let's look upon it from front and then we can go up here. So instead of object mode, we can just choose particle edit. And I want to comb this one. So we can go down and here you can choose the radius of the brush or and the strength. I will go with a bit more strength and then the radius will be fine. And now I just start to comb this one and try to shape the feather. And trying to find a shape that I like. And maybe down here I want to have some kind of shorter brushes. So let's use the cut. Cut them like so. Great. And up here, I think it's too long, so let's just cut, cut them also. And go back to the brush, and just try to fix the tip. Uh, and what we also can do is actually, some feathers are missing stuff. So we can set the radius to really low, maybe two. And just cut some in here. And then we brush it a little bit more. Like so. Great. And if we now look upon the feather from the other side, we can see that it's really wide. So we need to shape it like this. And this is why I don't want it only to come from the vertices, because I want to have some thickness to it. So you can brush it a little bit like so. And, and if you go back to object and uh, we can just press control tab and we get the menu and we just go to object mode like this. 
and if you now look upon it and you can see it's a little bit wide here we can actually go to a viewport shading and uh, so we need to fix this so let's just press Control tab go back to particle editing and if you now look upon it from the top you can see okay it's wide so one way to solve this is just to uh, change the selection mode press this button and we can select all oops and we go uh, over here select the box select all of these and then press s for scale in x and just and you can see we still have a just scroll so we can see how much that will be affected and you will see the size of your um, proportion editing uh, area up here so if you now select these and I press scale and uh, if I scroll you can see the size of the editing tool up there and we want to scroll uh, we want to scale it in X like so great and just press control tab and back to object mode okay so it's starting to look like something I don't like this top so we just need to come with a little more oops I don't want to use that anymore and I want to go back to this selection mode and just try to shape it to your liking great and if we now go back to object mode we have our feather but we still need to fix some stuff so if we now scroll down see the particle menu we go down to children and we just go with simple you can see it's much more uh, dense and we can choose the display amount 10 and maybe the render amount 10 as well like so great and now we just need to set this um, settings to our liking but i used to start out with the radius and make this maybe down to 0 0.05 and this is the radius of the children around the straw so uh, maybe a bit bigger 0.1 yeah and then uh, i go down to clumping and i want to be a bit clumping and if you now go with shape you can see how it's filling up from inside so this is nice in the last steps we just take this one shade out the smooth and just add a uh, subdivision surface like so and now we also want to add some materials to this one and for this shaft just let's just give it some kind of color I want the feather maybe to be blue so let's just give the shaft a bluish color let's call it shaft and then now for the feather let's go to the shading mode and let's make another material let's call this feather and then we can press ctrl t because I have the node wrangler add-on installed so let's just go to edit preferences add-on and activate the node wrangler uh, and we can delete the image texture and let's just add a color ramp we can just make this quick and dirty because I think it will look fine anyway and take the vector to the factor and let's uh, take this generated down to the vector and right now you can see it's just black and white we don't want that so let's just choose some kind of blue color like that and for this one maybe we can take it pinkish like so and I want it to be a little more shiny and you can see here yeah I think it's starting to look cool and in the last phase we want to drag down the alpha so maybe down to 0.7 now if you just go back to the layout and we just press ctrl alt 0 to zoom in the camera we select the camera press g z z zoom out like so and uh, 
back here to, to the world and for the color let's just add an environment texture and let's just add an uh, HDMRI image you can find them uh, for free in the description and if you now go to render go up to the camera and go to the film and set it to transparent if we first just try to render it looks kind of okay uh, and but i want to change one thing more let's select the these bits in the middle and just press g and x to give it a little bend and still activate the proportion editing to get it a little more round like so and right now we can see that the um, shaft is also wrong so we need to change that material shaft and select go to edit mode press a to select all of the vertices and then assign and now if we go to uh, the render again if you just try it out i think it looks kind of okay but this will look even better if we go with cycles so let's just change the cycles and now let's turn down the max samples to maybe just 150 and if i want another feather let's just select this one and press shift d and then y drag it over like so and go to shading let's go over here and select the feather and then we just duplicate this material and then we select the blue maybe change this to green and take this one to yellow like so and we can select the shaft and change this color to whoops we forgot to copy let's do that first like so copy the material and then change it to yellow so this is how we can do a feather and feathers are not identical to let's just shape it up a little bit so let's go to the particle editing and just let's brush it up like so and go back to object so this is how you easily do a feather in blender so thanks for watching and if you like stuff like this please like and subscribe bye